Sommelier is a, it's, it's a funny word. The, the current day sommelier is a, is a curator of, of the fine art collection of a restaurant. Whether it happens to be something sparkling, something white, something red, something fermented, something distilled. They're the, the, the voice of the vineyard meeting the voice of the chef. Talking about religion, talking about culture, talking about food, simplicity, basic things that we do every single time of life. This is wine. I mean, eating and drinking is pretty much work for us. The American Sommelier Association is one of the leading organizations training people how to become sommeliers. they're energetic, and they're being asked things that no one has any right asking them. On blind tasting, it's like when you go into New York City without a map, you know? They have only 15 minutes, and they need to describe the wine, the origin, the type, and maybe even the producer. These are all front runners. Uh, Aldo Son, who is uh, best sommelier in Austria, four years running now. Yannick, Yannick, he had a horrific accident. He's, uh, he's now in a wheelchair. Uh, he's equipped his wheelchair with everything that he needs to execute service like a master uh, in a four-star restaurant. Six minutes to go. You've got Arno uh, de Volde, who's uh, just a racehorse when it comes to wine knowledge. Laura Manick. Uh, she is a beverage director for uh, 13 restaurants in New York. I would recommend, since it's a celebration, having the Le Clos. This is a Padron coming from Republic of the Dominican. This is Delicious. a Swiss full body, rich, a lot of nutmeg, cinnamon. It pairs so well with this guy. The, uh, the old winemaker of the guest this year. And I think, and I will do a 2001 vintage that I will decant for you. Great. Combinate the decanters to all possible foreign flavors might vanish. Mine is absolutely perfect. I'm holding the bottle with a candle lighter so that I'm able to see the possible sediments. Could you taste the wine for me, please? I was expecting a couple so far. <laughs> <laughs> no, Yes, it was just a warm-up. Anything can happen. Uh, Nerve-wracking, because now the pressure is on. Most exciting point is coming right now. Number 30. And uh, how do you serve that type of wine? Well, I'm concerned about the asparagus. Uh, but how could you match the wine with the lemon? How does the acid work with the bitterness? Could what I... do you think is the best solution? I really would like to okay. a little bit more variation. Something a little bit more important? Yeah. I'm not a fan. Uh, Louis Ruiter, uh, that's not correct. Uh, it's not Anderson Valley. 
It's not supposed to be champagne, it's supposed to be sparkling wine, it's not uh, the correct term. Anderson Valley seems to be erroneous. It doesn't seem to fit the lineup. Nothing but time. That's great. It smells okay. Well. Yeah. Okay. What kind of Monte Cristo? Maybe something of our Lonsdale. Uh, well, how about a, a colita? Do you, do you prefer uh, matches or liners? I do prefer matches. On the palate, sort of a, 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 a woody kind of a feeling, a little bit of a green quality. Day bright, medium acidity, medium plus to high, 100% uh, Syrah from Santa Barbara County, 2003. A little bit of creamy touch also in the nose. It's very spice driven. Alcohol is definitely high. It's about 13, 30.5 plus. I would go there to something, uh, a pans, something pan seared uh, fish, where I get a little bit of spiciness combined with that, uh, with slightly creamy sauces. Uh, it's a 2005 vintage, 2004 5. It's something younger, without a doubt. Uh, and it's a Chenin Blanc. Perhaps a thick skin grape, or perhaps a warmer climate. Um, but again, no, the wine is clear, no evidence of any sediment. There's a certain raspberry, vanilla kind of quality to it that I'm getting. Um, there's a certain plumminess and richness that I'm getting from this wine. Um, I would actually say the viscosity as well is medium plus. They're slowly forming. 2004, um, South America, Argentina, Mendoza, um, Malbec. I'm done. It's quite crazy, you know, I won last year Austria, uh, I win this year United States, and which is my new home and it's just fantastic for me. A roller coaster. <laughs> right now it's just the emotions go upside down and uh, it's just unbelievable.